But everybody knows what Pretty Woman's all about, right? A rich guy, beautiful girl, all that fun stuff, right? But here's the thing. She's a prostitute. Let's be honest, she's a working girl. That's what everybody knows her as. Okay. All of you know me that I like money. You know that I like being able to make sure that everybody can capitalize off of everything. Now, this is a persuasive speech, so my job is going to be to persuade you to believe that legal prostitution should actually happen. I'm going to show you a few industries that have it as well. All right? Now, workers in the sex industry deserve the same rights as workers in any other trade. That includes the right to legal protection. That includes the right to be able to seek help when they need it. That's, it's just part of life. Sex, work, sex workers can only gain the same rights as other workers when the debate is moved from a moral framework and brought into, is it taxable? <coughs> is it legal? Is it a legitimate business? But first, we need to define what prostitution is. Okay. Prostitution is one of the world's oldest professions, and everybody knows that. The old working girls from the 20s, the 1800s, the 1700s, the 1600s, all that fun stuff. Now, everybody thinks, when they think of prostitution, it's the act or the practice of engaging in sexual intercourse for money. So the second money is involved, she's automatically a prostitute, or a whore, as everybody knows it. It's been tried to be eradicated for the last 95 years, and it's only illegal because it's immoral. But that's not fair to sit there and say that it's immoral, because there's a multi-billion dollar industry known as the porn industry. How's the porn industry any different than prostitution? It's women selling their body for print, it's women selling their body for sex, it's women selling their body, and men as well, for film. And yet, that's okay? A strip club's okay? How's prostitution any different than a strip club, than a pornography movie, than a print, anything like that? Now, the biggest thing is, is there's a lot of things that are considered immoral, but yet they're legal. Gambling is one of them. Drinking is another. Smoking, you know. It's not moral, but yet it's legal. Prostitution is known as a misdemeanor. So when a woman is a woman or a man, okay, it's not just women, it's men as well. A man is known as a gigolo, for those of you that don't know. Now, there's a legal benefit in legalizing prostitution. And that's this right here. It protects sex workers from violence, from abuse. Sex workers are afraid to go to somebody of authority after they've been beaten. Because the cops can just sit there and tell them, well, what'd you expect? You asked for it, didn't you? And that's not right. Legalizing prostitution would also free up police force and funds. There's so much money that goes to waste trying to eradicate something that's not going to be eradicated. Now, the biggest thing is, is tax dollars are wasted on legal fees. It's wasted on trying to arrest somebody and prosecute them for no reason. You know, all because money's involved. It's just like that. The government has no right to sit there and care about what people do with their sex lives. But the second money is involved, just like that, you're good to go. It improves neighborhoods and safety. Now you're taking somebody that's working on the street and taking them off the street and putting them somewhere where you can tax it, where you can control it, where you can legalize it, where you can license them and force them to be tested. The economic benefits as well. Legalized prostitution, you create construction growth, you create job growth, you create licensing, you create medical jobs, taxable revenue. Now you've created a legitimate business. You have a business that you can force to be licensed, force to be monitored, just like the porn industry. Everybody that's in the porn industry, you know, Hustler, Playboy, uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones that I don't need to name because you guys know them but they're all taxed, they're all licensed, they're all regulated, they're all forced to be tested every 14 days. The new law that passed in California where sex workers in film have to wear condoms for protection, it's the exact same thing that we can do for prostitution. You create something that's illegal, you create a criminal monopoly. Look at prohibition. What happened when we had prohibition? Alcohol was around under the tables, the mob had a Big monopoly, the second you legalized it, what happened? We had taxable revenue. Medical benefits. I have a whole bunch of medical benefits that are 
available as well. Regulated prostitution would allow for a greater knowledge of how to prevent STDs. You could force people to be tested. You could regulate how many times somebody can go to a brothel. Now, it's only limited by the amount of money somebody has. You can't stop somebody from viewing pornography. You can't stop somebody from going to a strip club. It's just a fact of life. They can go as many times as you want to, but you want to try and stop somebody from having sex with somebody else? It's legal in Nevada in 11 counties. And if you look at Nevada and their economy, the only thing that destroyed the economy was the building industry. And it's because they built too much too fast. But if you look at the porn industry, you look at the gambling industry, and you look at the sex industry there, billions of dollars that's been taxed. And it's just created nothing but pure revenue. On the medical benefits, not only are you going to create a greater knowledge of STDs, you're going to be able to force them to do mandatory testing or required use of condoms, birth control, make sure that they're getting regulated and tested all the time. Now you have a medical profession that's set aside. You created more jobs now because you can test somebody. There needs to be somebody there to test them. So you create a job right there. Now, legalizing prostitution with the ability to tax the industry, you're creating a stronger economy. No person's human or civil rights should be violated based on the basis of their trade. Nobody criticizes a teacher for educating somebody. Nobody criticizes a doctor for helping somebody. Nobody criticizes a police officer for doing his job other than when he writes you a ticket. But he's there when you need him. He's protected by civil rights. Prostitution hasn't been. There's no law that has ever stopped prostitution. And there will never be one. It's going to be there no matter what we do. But the one thing is, think about this, and this is one thing I want you to think. What separates prostitution from pornography? 